One night, when David was asleep, he dreamt of a city with huge buildings, silver birds flying overhead, and many people. The next morning, he explained his dream to Rosalind, and they both came to the conclusion that he can't tell his father a fear of being sent away. David's family were in the kitchen one afternoon preparing a meal when David rushed in to ask his mom for a bandage. After receiving help from his mother, he explains that it would have been much easier to deal with the situation if only he had a third hand. And this statement caused quite the commotion and helps David to realize how strict the society really is. David was at his friend Sophie's house a day or so after Sophie's secret was found out by Alan a boy living in Wachnock. Sophie is a young girl with a single flaw that will forever label her as a deviant. She has a small sixth toe on her foot. Her and her family, the Wenders, now have to leave their home because if Sophie was ever found, she would be treated horribly and would be taken away from her family. David is now seeing how truly evil the people of Wachnock really are. David was feeling stressed one day and decided that it would be a good idea to talk to his uncle. David had never told anyone about his ability before, so when he told Uncle Axel he had a huge weight lifted off his chest, he explained how he could communicate with his thought shapes and all the other details that came with them. His uncle made him promise to never disclose his secret because the people of Wagner would treat him horribly and send him away from his family. David realizes how vulnerable everyone in the telepathic group really is and how they must stay hidden. The Fringe's people had just invaded Wagner and a few of them had been taken prisoner during the attack. One of the men had been brought back to the Strom household and stood outside. David emerged from his household to see what was happening, and just as he did so, he saw the man. He looked just like his father, so similar. In fact, he stood in amazement. David's father soon exits the house to look over the prisoners, but returns in disgust when he realized something. The Spider-Man was David's uncle. Aunt Harriet had just had a baby and didn't want the baby inspected because she knew the baby was a mutant, so she tried giving it up. David soon realized that Petra had taken command and had more power than anyone else in the telepathic group. <laughs>